I used to disapprove of social media. I thought it was shallow and far less credible than the printed form. Listening to stories of professors about their younger days as reporters and knowing about their fears about the possible death of newspapers gave me such mentality. But something happened. I realized that I was the one being shallow in this generation of infinite possibilities. As the media becomes more social, it's not just about breaking national barriers anymore. It's also about reaching international frontiers to send messages and ideas. For journalists, experts, or amateurs like me, to live in this time is to live exciting. We are living in a borderless world. Thus, we must maximize the media that we have, all forms of it, especially the one that makes us the most. Because 10 or even 5 years ago, this connection was one of media's prime enemies. However, to utilize technology to massively disseminate information and to broaden the knowledge of the citizens of our nation is not as easy as it seems to be. To quote Mr. Robbie Alapai, the new media challenges us to see and think about the new forms of storytelling. See, in this way, social media is not as shallow as I suppose it would be. It actually serves as a challenge for us to cultivate the classical journalism standards and practices that we know of. It's an amalgam of the old and the new. It's best for us to turn social media into our advantage as early as now, before our fear turns into reality that the printed form will die together with the generation that lived with it. Because fear does not stop death, it only stops life. Your face from your face.